Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a full review video on the official ice cream sandwich update Android 4.0.4 FF18 on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. So right away I'm going to go ahead and hit menu. You'll see uh, this menu is a little bit different. Go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone. Under about phone you will see under build number it does say FF18 right there, Android version 4.0.4. So you do know you're running ice ice cream sandwich. I do have a video showing you how to manually update to ice cream sandwich from gingerbread if you need to. Um, you will need to have stock recovery installed if it need to be completely stocked to update. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Right away, you'll notice there aren't too many visual changes, at least uh, icon, app icon wise. There's really nothing new out of the ordinary. Uh, they're all pretty much the same, unfortunately. What you can do, though, is um, if you don't like the stock touch was launcher, you can actually, um, what's nice is Samsung actually left in an option to basically use the stock ice cream sandwich launcher. So what you can do is go into Sprint ID. So hop into Sprint ID, hit continue, and then switch it over to My ID and tap on My ID. And once you do that, there you go. You now have the stock ice cream sandwich launcher on your device as opposed to the TouchWiz launcher, which is great. Um, that they included that. I know a lot of people are happy about that. Of course, you can use a third-party launcher from the Play Store if you would like to. Uh, other than that, though, um, while in notifications, the notification bar has been changed, not really, a little bit, uh, actually. You'll see the 4G icon is a little different. I'm actually going to turn off Wi-Fi and turn on 4G. You'll see the 4G icon has changed as well. So let's go ahead and see. You'll see 4G trying to load up. It's not signal bars anymore. It's just just like the 3G icon, but it says 4G instead and is gray. So very unfortunate there. They got rid of those signal bars, letting you know your signal strength and such on 4G. I don't have 4G. I'm not in the 4G area, so I'm not in a WiMAX zone. But there you have it. Otherwise, signal bars have changed. Up at the top, you'll also see the battery icon has changed, and it has a percentage right um, at the bottom there. So it lets you know what your battery percentage you're, you are at. If you do not like that, you can actually get rid of it. I will get to that in a second. But uh, you'll see I have all these notifications here. If I don't want to see one, if I don't want to... Uh, if I want one to go away, I can go ahead and swipe it away and you'll see all the others uh, remain. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and do that again. So if I want to remove one, I swipe it away and it gets rid of it, keeps all the other ones, which is great. So that's really nice feature of Ice Cream Sandwich. Of course, you can hit clear to clear all of them, uh, go back and forth and clear them. So hit clear and they're all gone. So there you have it there. Uh, that would be the notification pull down bar change. Another nice new feature of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Epic 4G Touch is the face unlock feature. So you go into settings and then scroll down and find security. So security. Actually, before I talk about face unlock, what I'm going to do is actually show you the new lock screen. There's actually a new lock screen, which I really like. Um, you've got the lock screen. Basically, you can tap anywhere on the lock screen and then swipe outside of the circle and it unlocks your device. So obviously a little bit different before it was move the whole page, now it's tap anywhere and swipe away and it unlocks. There's actually also icons that show up if you have a missed call or a mix, missed text message, you tap in that circle and move out, it'll go straight to that text message or missed call. So that's great. Also, uh, of course, let's go ahead and hop back into face unlock so I can go back into security. I'm going to tap on screen lock and then you will see face unlock is right there. Uh, it's obviously a new ice cream sandwich feature so what we can do is set it up um, and hit continue. From, I've used this before and it seems to work okay. I'm going to go ahead and try and get out of the way of my camera, as you can see. So it looks like it's having trouble seeing my face. There it goes. So there you go. It, uh, it found my face, face captured. Hit continue. And you can add a pattern or pin lock. I'm going to go ahead and add a pattern lock. So I'm going to draw a pattern, draw another one. This is just in case it doesn't recognize your face or it's dark out or anything like that. So I can hit OK. It says you're all done. So there we have it. So now we have face unlock on. So when I lock my screen, I turn it on and you'll see it looks for my face and once it finds it, it unlocks my device. So that's a really uh, neat feature. Um, you'll see it takes a little bit of time to load up the front facing camera. But it seems to work well, so it's it's definitely a nice uh, little feature on Ice Cream Sandwich. You'll see right away you got a little bit of a different settings menu with Wi-Fi, 4G, Bluetooth, on-off toggles here. If you want to go into them, you actually tap on the icon here and it, it go, loads that up. So if you want to see different Wi-Fi networks, you tap on where it says Wi-Fi 
um, and it will go into it. You can obviously hit more and you got more settings as well. Uh, that's really about it. Out of the ordinary settings there, um, you have battery, so it lets you know what your battery's been at, all that good stuff. Another thing that has uh, w that's interesting is that Google Chrome really does not work. Um, I, I used it and basically what happens is it'll just close out randomly. So it, it's basically useless. Um, unfortunately, they did not get it working. It is in beta, but it's still very unfortunate that they can't get it working. Otherwise, let's go ahead and go into the browser. So we got a somewhat new updated browser. I was checking the weather actually earlier. So let's go ahead and go to a website, acsyndicates.net. You will also see you have an updated swipe keyboard right there. I'll get to that in a second. But loads up acsyndicate.net. I am on 3G, I turned off my Wi-Fi. Um, and you have different tabs as well, of course. So you got your different tabs. It loads up AC Syndicate. Seems to be pretty smooth, especially because it's on 3G, so it's still loading, re rendering the page. Let's actually open up a new tab. So we hit a new tab, and we can, that's fine, visionsprintpcs.com is good. So I'll load up the, basically, Sprint homepage. You got uh, two different, tabs open. I don't know how many you can have open. I haven't really tested it, pushed it to the limit. But uh, overall, I mean, you have a little bit of lag when pinching out and in. Um, nothing uh, nothing crazy though. So I mean, it, it works pretty well. The stock browser is pretty nice. So definitely something to try out. Uh, hopefully that uh, Google Chrome gets working soon because it is definitely a great uh, browser. I really like it. Um, let's go ahead and go into the camera application. Really nothing new in the, within the camera application. I mean, you got all your same settings, all that good stuff. I mean, I haven't really found anything new with the camera application. Snap a picture and snap another picture and there you have it. So about the same camera application going on there. What you can do now is actually press and hold on that home button that capacitive home button and it brings up your recent running apps list so you will see you have an entire list of recent and running apps that you opened up in the past or apps that are already open uh, what you can do is actually swipe them away to close them out uh, you'll also see that you have a bit of a visual bug down here um, that is actually a visual bug that little gap down there should not be there I'm not too sure why Samsung didn't just fix that before they pushed the over-the-air update but that is a little bit of a bug you have task manager as well so you can basically swipe away all of these different applications keep going until you get down to the bottom and there you have it so now obviously no more applications are open go into that dialer pretty much all the same stuff um, nothing really out of the no ordinary dial wise I mean you'll you will see theme wise you really don't have much of that ice cream sandwich blue which is very unfortunate I really wish they would have included a more ice cream sandwich like theme more stock ICS like theme of course with this uh, ice cream sandwich launcher you can press and hold on icons and drag apps out of the dock so you can obviously add different ones what you can also do with the stock launcher the stock ICS launcher is click and drag apps on top of each other and it creates a folder this is only with this launcher actually if you go back to TouchWiz launcher so go back to the TouchWiz launcher we will see you actually can't drag and drop applications on top of one another you'll see it just doesn't work um, so that's only with the stock ICS launcher, which I prefer, but again, you can obviously use the TouchWiz launcher if you'd like. You have continuous scrolling in your app drawer, continuous scrolling in your on your home screens, tap on these dots, swipe around, uh, you can go through them. So, I mean, obviously it's a personal preference, whichever one you want to use. I just figured I'd show you guys you do have the option in Sprint ID to change. Another thing you're going to want to be heads up for is actually, um, some people consider it a bug, but I guess if they released it officially, it must not be a bug. But anyways, let's go ahead and go into settings. You'll notice when you have, when you're scrolling, if you just kind of flick a little bit, it will kind of jump on you and go really fast. So I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, if you just barely flick, it really shoots down um, between the top and bottom. Uh, let's go ahead and go into my files. I think I have a list, good list of files so you can kind of see that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, you'll jump down, see how fast you can go to the top and bottom? I mean, you barely flick and it really goes. So it can be kind of jumpy with the scrolling. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, you'll have to let me know if you do like it or not. Be sure to leave a comment about that. But uh, again, I mean, it's, it's probably personal preference, something Samsung decided to include. It's definitely different than gingerbread. So uh, again, you got just a bit of a scrolling difference on ice cream sandwich. Now I have access to the new Ice Cream Sandwich Gmail application, so you'll see it is a little bit different from Gingerbread. Most of my emails are from YouTube. 
way I can track down all your comments anyways. So, I mean, go into it, uh, loads on up the, the message, and there you go. So you've got a new, basically a new Gmail application you can try out. That's uh, It's very nice and uh, very cool. Anyways, if you did want to take a screenshot now, now that it's been updated to Ice Cream Sandwich, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time and keep it held down and it takes a screenshot there. It has been updated from home and power like it was on Gingerbread, so you have that option now. You'll see uh, you can view it, swipe it away if you don't like it, and there you have it. Uh, again, you can do that within applications. Just press and hold volume down and power and it takes a screenshot for you. Also, again, uh, we can go back into settings and in those settings, you can go down to display and under display, you have um, scroll down, you got display battery percentage. So that is where you can turn that off and you'll see up at the top that battery percentage is gone. And uh, if you don't like it, if you do like it, leave it on. It's up to you, of course. So also there's actually clock and weather. You can have weather on the lock screen. So we can turn that on. So let's go ahead and turn on weather for our lock screen. Um, and there we go. So let's see if that actually worked. I don't know if it's going to. Uh, probably not because we have face unlock on. So uh, let's turn off face unlock and we can actually check and see if weather is actually working on the lock screen. So if that's obviously new from Gingerbread. It's not too amazing, but let's go ahead and go back to just slide. You can actually also have no lock screen if you do prefer that. So let's go into our lock screen and it says unable to display weather data. Um, it probably needs to update, so I mean give it some time to update. There's also weather settings you can go in. I'm not really going to mess with all of those. Other than that though, that's really about it. That's about all that's been updated on FF18 Ice Cream Sandwich on the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. You're going to have to let me know what you think. I'm using a fly grip by the way, in case you were wondering how I stood this up. but. Uh, that's really about it. So let me know what you think. Let me know how you guys like the update. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.